How long have you known Daniel Kainer? Buddy? Only since 1980. When's your final, uh, the final show of your American North American tour? This yes, tour, we'll yeah. We'll be at Kulak's Woodshed in Van Nuys and uh, April 29th, a Sunday, and it starts at 8 p.m. But he doesn't live in the States, so you don't no, get to no, see him much. No, maybe once every few years. How did you like the show? What did you think? I thought it was wonderful. Did you know what to expect? No, but I, I really enjoyed it very, very much. It was wonderful. So what did you think of the show? I thought it was terrific. Uh, he's, he's terrific, and he's just filled with heart and soul. I loved, I loved him. It was fabulous. Were you surprised in some way? I was pleasantly surprised because I could relate to some of the backgrounds. Uh, would you recommend the show to others? I certainly would, especially people who come from a Jewish background. Uh, did you play in, play at Edinburgh Fringe Festival? Yes, I play. Actually, I've been played every year for the last 12 years in Edinburgh, So, and I will be there again next August. Yeah. Uh -huh. He had a, a, a weekly gig where he would show up on the BBC, and he would write a topical song every week based on the news that had happened that week. So he's done things like that. He's worked with Julie Christie. He's worked with... Uh, a whole bunch of famous producers. I actually had the pleasure of visiting him when he was at Abbey Road working on a project that he was producing, co-producing. So lots of cool stuff. I'm from Manchester. You're from Manchester? Yes. Right. Oh, that's good. Oh, there are more and more younger people here. This is excellent, right? How did you... He, it's interesting because, as you mentioned, I've known Daniel since long before he started doing any kind of Jewish music at all. And the response is overwhelming, even though the majority of the audiences that he plays for, secular audiences, he sells out standing room only at Edinburgh Fringe. He's been doing about 12 years now, various places overseas. He's got a fabulous song uh, about Recklinghaus in a city in Germany that he played with no Jews. And uh, no, it's, it's very rewarding to see him finally being punished appropriately for his good deeds after all these years. Really, if you've never been to Kulaks, it's a very unique place. So um, it's... First of all, you can't buy tickets online. It's just cash at the door, $10. It's yeah. an artist-run uh, co-op, sort right. of. And they, they, they sometimes stream the live shows. Will, will, will they stream your live show, do you know? They will, in fact. So you could uh, actually, if you can't make it, you can certainly tune in. Uh, it's on pay-per-view. Which I'm sure is probably coolaxwoodshed.com. Pretty, pretty close. But look it up on the uh, Google. He's brilliant. He's very funny. He's uh, amazingly generous exceptionally talented. It happens to be an incredible keyboard player. Okay, so basically that's it. It's in North Hollywood. It's a Kulax woodshed. It's on the 29th of April. Um, be there! Be there! Be there! Yes, hopefully he won't. <laughs>